everyone myself purva joshi assistant professor at lj institute of engineering and technology today we are going to study few more topics of multiple integrals so let's begin with the first topic that is area in cartesian coordinates the area a bounded by the curve y is equals to f1 of x and y is equals to f2 of x intersecting at the point p of ab and q of cd so we will draw two curves uh, y is equals to f1x and y is equals to f2x so for example this is y is equals to f1x and this is the curve y is equals to f2 of x okay and these two curves are intersecting at the point suppose p a comma b and c of q of c comma d right so it is given by a is equals to double integration a to c y is equals to f1 x to f2 x dy dx okay so here we are making a vertical strip okay so you can see the vertical strip starts from f1 x and it ends at f2 x so the limits of y is what f1 x to f2 x and if you will move this strip okay so the x coordinate will change from a to c okay so the limit of x will be a to c right and if the equation of the curves are represented as x is equals to g1 of y and x is equals to g2 of y then this area is given by double integration now here the limits of y is what d to d and the limits of x g1 by 2 g2 by x divided okay so this is the formula we will use to find the area in cartesian coordinates now we will study area in polar coordinates so the area a bounded by the curves r is equals to f1 theta r is equals to f2 theta and the lines theta is equals to theta1 and theta is equals to theta2 okay so we have suppose this curve r is equal equals to f1 of theta right and some another curve r is equals to f2 of theta okay and we have this two lines theta is equals to theta 1 to theta 2 so suppose this is the theta is equals to theta 1 and theta is equals to theta 2 right so the integration is given by area is equals to double integration theta 1 to theta 2 now you can see the limits of r that is f1 theta to f2 theta suppose if you draw a uh, this elementary radius vector right so it enters the region from f1 theta so the limits of r will be r is equals to f1 theta and it ends at f2 theta okay so the limits of r are f1 theta to f2 theta and the limits of theta So theta one two theta two, right? So the limit of theta will be theta one two theta two. And in place of dx dy, now we have r dr d theta. This r is for Jacobian. Okay. Now let's study one example. Find the area enclosed by the curves y is equals to x square and y is equals to x. This is the example given in Cartesian coordinates. Okay. So let's begin with the solution. here the point of intersection of the parabola and line y is equals to x are obtained by parabola is given that is y is equals to x square okay and the line is given y is equals to x so in place of y just substitute x so you will get x is equals to x square right now bring this x here so you will get x square minus x is equal to 0 take out x common so you will get x into x minus 1 is equals to 0 so from this you will get the values of x as x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 okay now we will take x is equals to 0 and we will substitute in this y is equals to x okay so you will get answer of y as 0 now we will take x is equals to 1 and substitute here so you will get the answer of y as 1 Okay, so we are getting the point of intersection that is zero zero from here and one comma one from here, right? So the point of intersection are zero comma zero and one comma one. Now we will draw the 
curve. Okay, so this is the line y is equals to x, and this is the parabola y is equals to x one. Okay, the intersection points are zero zero and this one comma one. Now we have drawn here a vertical strip. So you can see that this vertical strip starts from y is equals to x square and it ends at y is equals to x. So the limit of y will be y is equals to x square to y is equals to x. And the limits of x is now we have to move this strip. Okay, so the x will change from zero to one. So the limits of x are x is equal to zero to x is equal to one. Okay, so the area is given by double integration. We have this variable here, so we will write here integration x square to x, and this constant that is zero to one outside. Okay, and d by dx. Now, firstly, we will integrate this with respect to y, keeping x constant. Okay, so the integration of one d by is y, and the limits are x square to x. Okay, now substitute the limit, so you will get. Integration zero to one x minus x square dx. Okay. Now again we will integrate it. So what you will get? Integration of x is x square by two minus integration of x square is x cube by three. Limits are zero to one. Okay. Substitute the limit. So you will get answer as one by two minus one by three. And the lower limit is zero. Okay. Simplify this. So you will get answer of this area as one upon six. Okay, so this is the area we have found out, which is bounded between this line y is equals to x and the parabola y is equals to x square. Okay, now uh, next example is find the area enclosed by the curves i is equal to two and i is equals to four in the first quadrant. Okay, so this is the example in polar coordinates. Let's begin with the solution. Now here. The region of the integration is the interior of the circle between r is equals to two and r is equals to four. Okay, so first we will draw the circle r is equals to two, circle with radius two, and r is equals to four, so circle with radius four. Right? Now the area is now the region is what this is bounded between these two circle r is equals to two and r is equals to four, and we are taking only first quadrant. Right? So you can see this elementary radius vector O A B. Okay, so this elementary radius vector O A B it enters the region. Okay, it enters from here. That is from R is equals to two, and it leaves the circle at what R is equals to four. Okay, so from this we can see that the limits of R are what R is equals to two to R is equals to four. Okay, and you can see the theta moves from zero to pi by two. Okay, so the limits of the Theta is what? Theta is equal to zero. To theta is equal to pi by two. Right? Now we will find this area. So area is equal to a. That is double integration zero to pi by two two to four. And here we have r d r d theta. Okay. Firstly, we will integrate with respect to r, keeping theta as a constant. So integration of r will be what? R square by two. And the limits are two to four. Okay, substitute the limit. So what you will get? Integration zero to pi by two here, sixteen uh, upon two. So you will get eight minus here four upon two. So you will get two. Simplify this. So you will get six. And the integration of one day theta that will be theta. And the limits are zero to pi by two. Okay. Now again substitute the limit. So you will get six pi by two minus zero. Okay. So here we have only pi by two. Simplify this so you will get the answer of area as three pi. Thank you for watching.